Rolling. Rolling? Yoo-hoo! It's happy hour! Darlings, it's your Auntie Glam coming out of the closet. How absolutely breathtaking. What a wonderful day. My angels, how fantastic to see you. Hello, my darlings. Now I'm looking for the thing. Have we sent the, the forwarded the thing, my angels? I have to do one thing and then I will be with you soon. I'm here, darlings. I'm not going anywhere, but I've just got to quickly, quickly boo, 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 do the technicalities, darling, as it, as it always happens, you know. This is becoming a whole routine. Oh, my angels, how many wonderful people are here. Uh, just taking a moment, darlings. Oh, hello, hello, Christine. Hello, hello, uh, hello to all. Uh, -ta 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 -ta. Well, I'll just stand here until it comes up. Mother's just waiting, 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 darlings. Ooh, I'm standing on my own clothing, of course. Uh, yes, oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, this is just part of our scenario that seems to happen every week. Uh, hello, Catherine Baba, my angel, darling beauty with your rainbows. Hello, Socio Joe and Anthony Cotton, my darling, darling. Hello to you outside of Manchester. We've got the people from England and hopefully there are some birthday people from London. And of course, Christine is here, my darlings. And tomorrow is Christine's birthday. So tomorrow at three o'clock, you be sure to go to Christine on IG Live to see her birthday performance, my darlings. People are getting older all around us every day. Aging, getting older, getting older. Oh, I'm getting older waiting for this thing co to come up. From Who is it coming from, darling? Okay, I'm just looking, looking, looking. There's a whole line of people. I don't know, darlings, what's going on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. Oh, darlings. Zubi, zubi, I'm glad I've lost my teeth today, darlings. Ra, da, da, ri, ba, da, 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 Bump, bump. Mm -mm. All right, well, I give up, darlings. Uh, River's right here trying to send me a message so I can tell you where to tip me if, you know, sh you should decide at some point. And River's also on titty watch because I'm trying to keep my... Keep your eyes on my nipples, darlings, because they're ready to burst out at any given second because I don't have the right foundation garments because as I said last week, my sex bra is in New York City, darlings, where all the sex happens. So I'm not wearing my strapless sex bra today. So I've got the chemise underneath trying to keep, uh, you know, my particles in place. Okay, well, darlings, we give up on all of it. And so, I'll just have to trust to the universe to provide. David's trying. Try, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, now we've got it coming from other locations. <laughs> we've got a little, 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 there it is. I hope that's right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's holding now what happens. Oh, no, it just slips away. Oh, because my fingers are dead, darling, like a <laughs> dead person. Oh, there we go, pin <laughs> comment. Oh, I thought perhaps I'd died and no one told me and I'd lost my <laughs> fingerprints, darlings. Ah, oh, here we are, it's happy hour. Another week of happy hour with your Auntie Glam, darlings. How absolutely fantastic. Oh, oh, Minerva, as the queens of yore used to say, my darlings, Minerva, my nerves, we just had a crisis out front. Uh, our friend River came, uh, who's also on Titty Watch, darling. River came to tell us that there was a baby bird who had fallen. There's a nest, a bird's nest, above my front door. A robin's nest, darlings, with a little baby. Oh, they are terrifying looking, though. Thank God they're so small. They are like primeval, darling. Uh, and one of the little baby birds fell out of the nest and was on the 
Welcome, Matt. Welcome to the House of Whimsy. But darling, I don't think the bird wanted to get in. The bird was just looking traumatized as only a baby bird can look. And so I had to put on my latex plague gloves and go out and scoop the little baby bird up and put it back in its nest with its little birdie siblings. And all we could do now was pray for the bird, my darling. Pray the mother returns and uh, the bird will survive, my darlings, and all of their little baby bird angel friends. Well, here we are, and uh, I thought, well, what are we going to do this week? Shall we do something? And I don't know about you, darlings. I, I feel like I should have a consultant in Italy or one of the other countries where people have been on lockdown for so long, because, you know, you start to feel like you're losing your mind. Well, I start to just feel, uh, you know, everything. I'm just Filled with the feelies, darlings. So I thought, well, why don't we do a show this week that's about feelings, feelings, feelings. Oh, look, I just got a tip. Bra, there's a little sign over there. <laughs> Bring it over here, darling. This is my warning sign, darling. Bra, bra, it's backwards on Instagram. It's sort of ob. My ob, darling. <laughs> <sighs> So, <laughs> my arm, if my arm, well, darlings, I don't care really who sees my nipples. Someone to be sucking on them right now, the perfect gloves. I like to have the sensation again. Can you imagine having a sensation in this day and age, darling? Something sensual, a feeling. I had a girlfriend one time who was a new, new mother. And, uh, you know, she'd always had a husband that was very attentive to her breasticles. And then she had a baby and she said she just found the whole thing to be rather confusing. Uh, <laughs> which, of course, I would never know because I only sleep with younger people. But not that young, darling. That's, a, you know, and I've never had a baby. I always have, uh, well, I've uh, had hysterical pregnancies in my life, but I've never had a baby. For all I know, some, you know, perhaps I'm hysterically pregnant right now. I've been a little anxious and slightly nauseated on occasion. But anyway, darling, it's a show about feelings, darling. And so I decided to do a song that I, you know, I heard when I was on the way over to pick Nathan up one day or to, to go over to the, the house and I was listening to Radio Woodstock, which is our local radio station and I just adore Radio Woodstock. They play fantastic music and I heard this song. I'd never heard it before in my life and I said, well, I'd like to do that song in the show. So darling, I don't know the song, but I familiarized myself with it. And so we're going to see how it turns out, it's a song writ, uh, that was performed by a band that I did a little research and found out they live here in the Hudson Valley. They're called The Naked Band, and I love nudity, darlings. Boop! <laughs> no, I didn't show them, but uh, my mother's watching. She doesn't want to see my nipples, darling. Hello, mother. I'm trying to be as modest as I can for a lady of a certain age. And, uh, you know, with droopy everythings. So uh, I am going to sing this song by a band called The Naked Band, and it's about feelings, darlings, and so we'll see what happens. Cheers, my angels. It don't look good standing in a nuclear breeze. The earth at a cool negative ten degrees. Oh, but I feel all right. I still have my electric ring light Though I can't breathe the air, the air outside Oh, it don't look good, but it feels all right I, 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 ow. It don't look good, but it feels all right <laughs> The phone was ringing, I don't even know who was calling, darling But I... I said no, I don't accept the call. Could have been Jesus. Wouldn't that have been <laughs> terrible if I had a phone call from Jesus and then no thank you, Jesus, I'm doing a show. Well, they say Jesus saves. Sorry people lying in their graves. Well, I sure hope you don't forget about me. I'll call you back later, Jesus. But still, 
still I don't mind Taking my sweet time crying Cause Earth ain't such a bad place to be, darling I, 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 ow It don't look good, but it feels alright Tweet, tweet, survive, little birdies, ow, ow It don't look good, but it feels alright Like a friend's gift on a starry night Oh, you know, baby, it's gonna be all right oh, it don't look good if it feels all right All right, all right, all right, all right, all right Ho! Take it, David Sikorsky Give us a little razzmatazz, darling Yeah, 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 yeah And I didn't have that cocktail I made the other day. What did I make? It was a tutorial. It was the seventh heaven, darling. I had one of those things and I thought, well, I hope my audience drinks them because I'll look absolutely beautiful after about three sips. But I'm just having a gin and soda with a little creme de violette, darling. Just something that sort of blends in with my fabulous Rachel Comey dress. Ooh, with the wrong foundation garments, and I could, ooh, chills, chills, darling, cheers. Uh, so, uh, another song I heard as I was driving around in Vantasia was a song that, you know, we've all learned in third grade. And uh, it's a third grade song, darling, and it, uh, it put me in a, a sort of a, a reverie, a reverie, darlings. Because when I first moved to New York, uh, and, uh, to go to college in the uh, fall of 1981, darling. I'm not only dating myself, I'm practically putting myself in a museum by saying those dates, but I was in uh, 1981. I came to New York for the very first time. New York City, darling, a small town girl. You probably could pick up my southern accent. I came up from Maryland, darlings, and I was uh, in, uh, you know, going to college, and that year in Central Park, darlings, a Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, Famous duosome darling who evidently didn't really get along all that well. Uh, but, you know, they made beautiful music together. Simon and Garfunkel were doing a free concert in Central Park, and I went with some lovely girlfriends from college, and I sat out on the great lawn of Central Park with thousands and thousands of New Yorkers under a, a beautiful September sky as the sun went down and Simon and Goff somebody stepped on my head sort of almost 
Fortunately, heads are round, darling. If I'd had a square head, it might have been mushed, but because it was rounded, their heels sort of grazed it. And I had had several beers, darling, so I was perfectly fine with somebody stepping on my head at a Simon Garfunkel concert. I thought, this must be what people do in New York when they're laying on the great lawn in Central Park. Boop! Oh, it's fine, darling. I'm absolutely fine. Uh, so I was listening to Simon and Garfunkel, and they did this song, which I had learned in third grade. And our lovely David Zakowski is going to take the part of Arthur Garfunkel. And of course, I'm going to play uh, Simon. Paul Simon, my darlings. And, uh, uh, you know, let's give him a little grasmatas, darling, a little glamour. Paul Simon. <laughs> I only know him from music, and of course, didn't he do a cameo in a Woody Allen film, darling? And of course, in those days, Woody Allen seemed so New York, darlings. Now he seems so sort of, well, I don't know. Where do they put the pedophiles, darlings? I don't know uh, where he is now, but I wish him the best, and I certainly enjoyed a few of his movies back in the day. And uh, now I'm going to enjoy this Paul Simon, an Arthur Garfunkel tune, and I uh, invite you all to sing along, darlings, because we are feeling groovy in our show about the feely feels, darling, because we're feeling way too much, and yet we're actually experiencing the sensation of way too little, my darlings. So let's try to feel groovy, and we'll do a little harmonia for you, and Nathan will ride, ride us through it <laughs> on the Guitar, my darlings. Ciao. Slow down, you move too fast. You gotta make the morning last just. Kicking down the cobblestones, looking for fun and feeling groovy. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da. Hello, lamppost, what what you knowin'? I come to watch your flowers growin'. Ain't you got no rhymes for me? Do 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 do, feelin' groovy. Got no place to go. Am I in the right place, darling? <laughs> go back to that. I, I was feeling so groovy, darling. <laughs> I forgot that what we were doing. Feeling groovy. I got no place to go. No promises to keep. I'm dappled and drowsy and ready to sleep. Let the morning time drop all its petals on me. Life, I love you, all on is groovy. Feeling groovy, feeling groovy. Wow, wow, wow. Look, I'm touching their beautiful little faces, darling, because we're feeling groovy. Oh, Nathan Carrera and David Sikovsky, the two angels on my palms, darling. <laughs> These palms which recently saved a bereaved baby bird who <laughs> fallen out of the nest, my darlings. The things one has to do in the country, you know. Fortunately, I had my PPGs, my personal protective gloves, darlings, because uh, 
I didn't want to have... If, can you imagine if the baby mama of the birdies came by and the baby bird was drenched in Chanel perfume, <laughs> darling, which I just put on myself before I went down the stairs? She'd go to the nest and think some hummingbird had been in there toying with her children, darling. So I had the nice latex glove, thank heavens. Uh, Bra and tips. Oh, let's show them the other part, darling. <laughs> because uh, the, this part says bra for those of you uh, in, uh, YouTubers, but on uh, Instagram it says arb. And for you in the YouTube it says tips, but uh, on the Instagram it says spit, darlings. So uh, <laughs> arb, spit, or bra. Tips, darling. <laughs> We've got to get bright nips on there somewhere, darling, because they're bound to show up eventually. Oh, isn't this a wonderful, glorious day? It's been sunny for four days in a row, and I kept saying to myself, for all of March, if we could just have a few days of sunshine in a row, I'm sure, sure I would be able to avoid these mood swings, my darlings. But you know what? As, as it turns out, my internal clock, my mental metabolisms are not driven by the weather, after all. And I, it could be any sort of thing. I could see a shadow on the wall and think, why me? Why? I'm sure many of you are going through it, probably, looking at your own shadow on the wall. When am I ever going to see another shadow on this wall as I'm here stuck alone in my home trying to remember what life was like before Ms. Rona showed up and took away all of our freedoms, darlings? But uh, it is wonderful to have the beautiful weather and have a little cocktail and have our Thursday afternoons together, my angels. It is a thrill for me and I'm so delighted to have you here and to have the benefit of these beautiful talented and friends who we're living in a COVID bubble, darling. And you know, uh, I was over at Nathan and his partner River's house the other day and I became a very handy woman. I was a trandy woman, darling, or a handy tran, however you like to look at it, my angels. But I was in the gay rage, which is what I call the garage, darling. I was in, I, I keep touching my stomach because of course I'm looking at the camera and I'm thinking, I'm pregnant with possibilities, my darlings. Pregnant, pregnant with possibilities. I'm pregnant with hysterical possibilities, darling, because the possibilities are rather limited of what we can do, but we are, I have a rich inner life, my darlings, and I have my wonderful friends in the COVID bubble. So I was over in the gay rage with a paintbrush and I, I got, um, I got this, uh, old lawn furniture and I got my paint from uh, when I moved into the house of Whimsy Darling uh, and they left the paint for the uh, outside of the house. Snowfall that matches my hair darling and my spirit. I see, I see. And, uh, and so I just got out the snowfall and I went into their gay rage. I took my micro dose and I turned on some beautiful, you know what I discovered darlings? You don't even have to go to a nightclub anymore to hear your favorite DJs create wonderful mixes for you. So while I was on my micro dose with my uh, paint brush and my snowfall exterior paint, I put on a musical sets by my favorite DJs in the world, by of course my darling Sammy Joe's constantly putting up uh, beautiful mixes on uh, Spotify, darling. So look up DJ Sammy Joe on Spotify and you can have an afternoon of the most fantastic music. And then I put on my darling, darling, darlings, the reader's wife's from London, darling, and you just put those things on, take a little microdose, and just paint to your heart's content, and dance around in the gay rage, and enjoy your life, darling. It's a wonderful day to, way to spend a day, or two days, or three days. And I'm about to repaint the entire house, darling, because it's the happiest I've been in months. And so I'm just gonna, everything's gonna be snowball. It's gonna be like I'm, I'm a, uh, who's that, that the, the snow queen, darling. The snow queen, brrr, darling. Uh, anyway, we have another song for you as I ramble on, ramble on. Oh, and you know what else we've decided? Uh, next week uh, we'll be, of course, back on Thursday. And I thought, well, it's the last week in May and we've been here. This is our 10th week, is that it? Mm -hmm. uh, 70 days in captivity, is that right? 
70 days, 10 times seven. That's what I'm fairly good at. My tens in the multiplication table. Uh, so it's been 10 weeks, 70 days. And uh, for our 77th day on our 11th week, because I love 11s and I love 12s, which is why I'm planning on dying at the age of 144, because it's 12 uh, squared. 12 squared is 144. And so people say, oh, are you really going to live to be 144, Auntie Glam? Well, yes, my darlings, of course. I've declared it so. 12 times 12 is 144. So uh, I don't know why I want to live that long, darling, because, well, I don't, I think I'm going to live that long. I don't care if I die tomorrow, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm a traveler. If that, every time I get on a plane, I think, well, am I ready to die? Yes, I'm ready to die. I've had a wonderful life. I've had much love in it. And I could die tomorrow, but darlings, my advice to you is live, darlings. Try to live. I had a grandmother who lived to be 93 years old. And uh, my darling Aunt Sandra, if you're watching Aunt Sandra, hello. She said, your grandmother's not going to die. She's too nosy. She's afraid she might miss something. And that's my thing, darlings. I'm curious. I want to know what's going to happen next. I can't imagine. I don't maybe want to know everything all at once for the next 60 years. But I would, uh, you know, I, I would like to wait and see. I don't want to know anything in advance, darling. That would be terrifying. Can you imagine if I'd known on the 1st of November 2016 that Donald Trump was going to be president uh, a few uh, months later, darling? That would have ruined Christmas. Uh, and that was one last Christmas. Well, actually, it wasn't a good Christmas because we knew we, we saw the inevitability. So imagine... Christmas 2016, how much more of a wonderful time you would have had if you hadn't known that Donald Trump... See, I'm proving my point, darlings. You don't want to know what's going to happen, but stick around to see anyway, because sometimes it's fantastic. I've had wonderful things happen since then. And I guess my microdose has kicked in, because I'm just going... la 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 scooby dooby dooby doo my darlings. So perhaps we'll sing this song. I have no idea how it's going to go, but... I'm more than delighted to again find out what's going to happen next. Feelings, my darlings. We have a plethora of feelings. This is a 6 8. How's it going, darling? How's this 6 8 for Jupiter? We decided to do it in 6 8 at our rehearsal, darling. I have no idea what that even means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. starts out with a line about a bird. That little bird came in and just... Precious angel. Bra. Bra birds nips tips, darling. So much to think about. Ba ba boom. Ow. Birds flying high. You know how I feel. In the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I Fish in the sea, you know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on a tree. It's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. I'll dragonfly out in the sun, you know what I'm 
for your auntie glam tips darlings darlings i just want you to know we're on here we're we're virtual buskers darling we're virtual buskers and uh you know i don't want you to feel at all badly about standing and enjoying the music or sitting and enjoying the music or Perhaps you're fiddling with yourself and enjoying the music, which would make me feel wonderful, darlings, because a lot of people don't like to be objectified. But you know, darling, at my advanced stage, I'm delighted. Or oh, I don't, I can't speak for the beauties on either side of me, but I'm glad I, if they are the object of your desires, you're sitting in your room, one hand on your phone and the other hand on your whatever, darlings. I'm happy to be the, what is the word, the consigliere, is that the word? <laughs> <laughs> is that the word? Sure. What does that mean, <laughs> darlings? What does consigliere mean? But it was fun to say, consigliere, darlings, the, 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 the passageway to all of the glamour and the beauty and the talent here in the House of Whimsy. And so uh, I also, while you're fiddling with yourselves, I want you to know there's a, wonderful, wonderful masturb masturbatory fantasy about to present itself to you tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock on Instagram, darlings, which is the brilliance of my darling friend, Christine, who will be doing a show, will be doing a showing tomorrow. <laughs> I sound like a slot machine, but I sound like one. Christine is one, my darlings. So you can watch tomorrow at three o'clock and see Christine doing her birthday show because we are upon Gemini season, darling. And although I, I have fallen madly and uh, tragically in love with several Geminis in my lifetime, darling, it was an uh, unreciprocated more, but I do love the Geminis, darlings, because they're wordy, they don't, uh, whereas uh, an Aries doesn't think before they act. They have no yellow light, darling, they get the idea, and BING! Well, that's sort of like a Gemini's mouth, my darling, whatever, the, just, and I, I'm the same. It was my dear, I think it was my dear friend Agnes, who is a wonderful uh, psychic 
A tarot card reader, darling. She told me years ago, darling, your Mercury is in Gemini. And I didn't know what it meant at all. And then years later, my darling friend Jack Fervor, who's a talent, talent person, who's also very spiritual, a very woo-woo choreographer and actor, a tremendously multi-talented person, told me, your Mercury is in Gemini. And finally, I got it, my darlings. That's your communication. And that's why it doesn't do me uh, any favors to try and think about what I'm going to say beforehand because then I just get self-conscious and mess it up, my darlings. And I just trust after many years of psychoanalysis and many years of uh, psychotropics and all of the psychos, darlings, I just trust myself that whatever's going to come out is not going to be too, too horrible. But I also have this certain level of humility that I'm willing to grovel for your forgiveness, my darlings, as I'm sure everyone in this room has experienced. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> Uh, darlings, uh, but I do love a Gemini, and so for all of you Geminasians out there, happy birthday! It's your mom. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I was going to say is, uh, next week, if we're all still alive, we're going to do our final show for the month of May, and I thought, well, we'll do some songs by that beautiful angel, Karen Carpenter. We're going to do a Carpenter show next week, darling, and, uh, then, of course, we are in... June proper, darlings. And uh, I think for the month of June, because it is Pride Month, my darlings, it's the, uh, I don't know, how many, 30, 31st year of Stonewall, is that it, my darlings? 69. So, <laughs> 69th Stone. No, it happened in 1969. What are you telling me, my darlings? 51st. It's the 51st Stonewall, darlings. Thank God last year we were all able to go out and talk about how it had become so commercial. And I guess the spell worked, my darlings. We were in the park complaining about it was commercial and it turned into something commercial and we didn't want it to be that anymore, darling. Well, no one's going to be making too much pride off uh, Oh, money. money off of pride. <laughs> money. Money off of pride this year, darlings. Especially on professional homosexuals. We're going to be sitting at home like, meh, meh, meh. Chinga, 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 chinga. We're going to be swinging, you know, swinging our freedom rings around, my darlings. You know, hey, kitty, kitty. Yeah, go get the freedom ring, baby. Bring it back to mama. That's what it's going to be like, my darlings. Yeah, pride, pride, brum, guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. Let me go out here and socially distance myself in the backyard. And, you know, pride, pride, my darlings. The neighbors, yeah, shut up. We heard about pride last week, darling. You're a walking pride flag. You're a parade. I've always said it, my darlings. I'm a parade. A pride parade every time I walk down the street, my angels. But, and uh, so I hope all you let your free flags fly, fly, <laughs> fry those flags, darlings. Uh, so we're going to <laughs> <laughs> Nips, tips, fry the frag. <laughs> well, at least I didn't, I cut that R in there. I'm not going to get booted off of Instagram or you hoob uh, <laughs> by saying the F word. No, darling, so I've got a filter. Oh, oh. I'm not going to say that, darling. But anyway, so for Pride Month, every Thursday, we are going to do songs by gay people or lesbians. You know me, darling. I'll probably be doing more of the dirty motive songs by the lesbians. You know, we'll be doing songs by the gay people, darlings, for the Pride Month. And uh, so that's what we're sort of preparing ourselves for. But before then, we're going to do this final song of the day, which I can't even remember what it is, but I know it must have something to do with feelings. Oh, my darlings, I do remember. It's a Joni Mitchell song. Because, well, we aren't going to be able to sing any Joni Mitchell because she's not a lesbian, my darlings. She's not even known as a bisexual. Uh, you know, she's an, 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 a Canadian ice goddess, my darlings. <laughs> uh, she's a Scorpio. She's a Scorpio, darling. And I'm a Scorpio moon. I'm a Taurus. Sun, cancer rising. I was born with the ri born with the rising cancer, darlings. Uh, not the moon. That's a Scorpio. But Joni, I'm starting again. I get on. Well, now I am having more compassion for Rachel Maddow talking around in circles. <laughs> get to the mic. Okay, darling. The point is, I have a sun in Taurus, a rising cancer, 
and a moon in Scorpio. I don't know why you needed to know that. But anyway, this song is by, oh, now I'm repeating myself again, darlings, the Scorpio goddess of the North, Joni Mitchell. And it's not one of the more well-known songs, and it's the last song uh, that is by anyone we don't really, truly, fully know about Karen Carpenter. And that, I have my theorems, my darlings, and that's why I put her as the show. She's the bridge show between secular sexuality, darlings, and sacred sexuality of the homosexual, which will begin in June. And so as the bridge, we have our beautiful gender-challenged baseball playing truck driver talking butch gorgeousness of Karen Carpenter next week. And now, we will sing for you a number, which I think I know, darlings, but I've got my cheat sheets here, darlings, because I... Lighting test, lighting test, darlings. Okay. Oh, that ring, you know, I didn't notice, my darling. Maybe the um, micro dosage is working, because when I was singing that, uh, feeling good song, all of a sudden, the, the ring light, which I bought, because that's what everybody says to do, uh, I bought the ring light, darling, and while I was singing, it went from being a ring to a plate. <laughs> okay, darlings, well, let's hope, we, and it was during the apex of the song, so hopefully we'll get to that point in this next one where everything turns into a plate, because <laughs> that's when you know you're at the moment, darling. So this song is called Be Cool, because we've got um, so many feelings brewing up inside of us and we don't want to be, you know, we can be startled by the shadows on the wall that we are being irritated by. We will realize that, of course, it's only our shadow because we are the ones in the room alone, darlings. So don't box with your own shadow, darling. Be cool, be cool. One more time, darling. I'm getting there. I'm feeling very good. Oh. If there's one rule, it's up to right place to come in, darling. You just tell me when to come in. I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Let's get from your man, Christian. Oh, not Christian. 
Chin Lun Hua, darling. Chris said, Lu Tai, my darling. Lu Tai. Bring it around one more time. I'm replying, darling. Go back to the grids, Diane. W, darlings. And if I go like this, my mouth creates an O. So it's like I'm saying, wow, I'm feeling groovy, my darlings. Wow. <laughs> Angels, I'm so happy that you're here with me this week. And I'm so delighted. Is that nips or tips? I, I'm blinded by the... By the, I'm blinded by the ring light, my darling. Nips, oh, they're still in place, darling. A little aroused, but... There's some wonderful state of affairs, darling. Uh, so, uh, from all this fidgeting, my darlings, uh, uh, now, oh, I was going to say, how, how really wonderfully blessed are we to be here uh, with this beautiful talent of David Sikofsky, not only playing the piano, but filling in for Arthur Garfunkel, darling. It's a beautiful thing. That's a multi-talented, generous, person and here on my right which might be your left for you spit and fart people or whatever <laughs> <laughs> and of course you instagrams this is in, on my right nathan carrera my darlings uh and so we'll be back next week and i just want to tell you darlings as gruesome as it may become remember to live 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 just live on my darlings and remember Remember that no one loves you more than your anti-glam, my angels. And so I'm going to say so long, farewell to my beautiful YouTubers. There's the little thing. Bye, angels. Bye, darlings. <laughs>